Hello everyone, back with the focus today, I'll be showing you how to replace a leaking valve cover gasket. So if you've been around the Mark 1 Focus for a while, you'll probably know that the rocker cover gaskets tend to leak. This one has been leaking for a while. While the front of the engine may look fine, it's in the rear that the leaks really show. You'll see on the side here that there is a slight leak and as we move to the back of the engine, the oil buildup is a lot more visible. The sensor plug here is covered in oil and so are some other very important parts such as the alternator and the injectors as well. So it's time to do this job on this car. It's a really simple task that should only take you an hour or so, maybe less. Here are the tools you're going to need. Have plenty of paper towel or rags handy, you'll need some degreaser and a small brush as well. With these three items you'll be cleaning the rocker cover and surrounding areas. Then you'll need an 8mm deep socket or spanner, whichever one you have handy, plus an 8mm and 10mm regular socket. Then you'll need a ratchet and extensions, a torque wrench for final tightening, some sandpaper, gasket sealer and a flat plate screwdriver. Alright, the first thing to do is remove your throttle cable if it's in the way like on my car. You'll just unclip everything and move it to a safe place. Next, unplug the HT leads and move them out of the way as well. Disconnect the breather hose from the rocker cover and you'll be ready to undo the bolts and remove the rocker cover itself. Told you this one was easy. Start with this nut in the front that just needs a 10mm socket to undo. You may also need to undo this nut here to be able to move the heat shield away from the rocker cover. Once I had that undone, I could move the heat shield out of the way and now had full access to all of the rocker cover bolts. Then take your 8mm socket and loosen up the rocker cover bolts. Grab a deep 8mm socket or an 8mm spanner and undo the last bolt holding on the rocker cover. Once that's done, your valve cover is ready to come off, so prepare a clean surface that you can place the rocker cover onto. Remove all the bolts, taking careful note where they all go. You'll want to put the right bolt back in the right holes when it comes time to assembly. Next, undo the oil cap and remove it. And finally, take your flat blade screwdriver and pry the valve cover away from the engine. Note how I'm using a paper towel to cushion the screwdriver to avoid scoring the head. Now that the cover is loose, lift it away and place it onto your prepared clean area. Place it wet side down to avoid contaminating the inside of the cover with any dirt that may be flying around. So with the valve cover now off, take this opportunity to check out the top of your engine. And I must say, this 2 litre ZTEC engine looks in excellent shape. I know this particular engine has had a hard stop-start city driving life. And just take a look, despite all that and the fact that this engine has 160,000 kilometers or 100,000 miles on it, it is absolutely free of any carbon or sludge buildup. Ford really were onto a winner with these ZTEC engines. Before we can put the valve cover back on with the new gasket, first we need to prep the surface. You will notice that there will be leftover material on the head from the old gasket. You'll want to get rid of all of this. To do that, remove what you can with a rag and then get sanding. Make sure your sandpaper isn't too coarse, about an 800 grit should do the job. Go slowly and pay special attention to removing all of the old gasket material to avoid the new gasket leaking and ruining all your hard work. Go nice and gentle, remembering that the head of the engine is a soft alloy material, so you don't want to create any dips in the surface. Also, when you're sanding, sand in the direction of the gasket. Never sand across the surface or you risk dropping dirt and metal shavings into the galleys of your engine. By the way, I hope you're enjoying the content from this channel and if you are, please support it by giving this video a like. Once you're satisfied that the old gasket has been removed, cover your engine to avoid any contaminants falling in and move on to the rocker cover. 
go ahead and take out the old gasket from the rocker cover channels by using your flat blade screwdriver. Next, you should find that the underside of your rocker cover is coated in oil, so go ahead and degrease the rocker cover now. With that done, you should have a nice clean valve cover to work with, so it's time for assembly. Because the 2 litre ZTEC engine came in two different configurations, the one in the SVT or ST, and the one in my car, that is a ZTEC or ZX3, ZX5, make sure you have the right gasket for the right engine. Start pushing the gasket into the channels, paying close attention to these tabs found along the gasket. Make sure that the tabs line up with the notches in the valve cover. Work your way around and double check that the gasket hasn't come loose anywhere. Do a final check, making sure everything is sitting nicely, and triple check the tabs along the gasket. Once you're happy, it's time to take it back to the engine. Before you put the rocker cover back on, wipe down the sanded surface edge of the head with a degreaser wipe or paper towel. As you can see, there is a small amount of residue left over from the sanding and doing this will just give you a super clean surface to attach the gasket to. With that done, it's time to apply a small amount of sealant to the head. The new gasket itself does not need any extra sealant, but there are a couple of joints in the ZTEC head where oil leaks can occur. So this is just a little bit of insurance to make sure you have a tight seal everywhere. Take note of the corners I'm applying the sealant to and do the same on your car. Alright, we're almost home. Time to put the valve cover back on. Make sure the cover is sitting nice and flat and go ahead and put the bolts back in. Then take your 8mm socket and wind in each bolt finger tight. Take note of the configuration I'm using here. You'll want to work from the center out and from opposite ends. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do them in that order. What this will do is spread the gasket outwards starting from the center. Once all the bolts are in and finger tight, leave the gasket to rest for about an hour. This allows the gasket sealant to cure before you tighten everything up to torque specs. Okay, an hour later we're back at the car and ready to torque things down. You will want to torque the bolts down in two stages. In the first pass, set your torque wrench to 5 Newton meters, and in the second pass, set it to 10 Newton meters. Now, I'll footnote this by saying that the actual factory recommendation is first stage at 2 Newton meters and second stage at 7 Newton meters. I don't know about you, but 2 Newton meters to me is about finger tight, so I gave it a couple of extra Newton meters for each pass on mine. You can follow what I did, and I can assure you that my valve covers have not leaked from ever so slightly over tightening or you can set it to the factory specs the choice is yours in about a day it's also a good idea to check that the final torque value has held true just run one final pass at 10 newton meters or 7 newton meters whichever torque number you went with over all the bolts to make sure you're still tightened down evenly the final items left to do are to reattach the heat shield, reinstall the HT leads, reattach the breather hose and reattach the accelerator cable. And with that the valve cover gasket video is done. I hope you like what you saw, and more importantly, like me, I hope you've learned something new today. If you agree, please let me know by giving this video a like. Did I miss something? Do you have anything to add? Feel free to leave a comment below. I always welcome constructive feedback. And if you'd like to see more content from the channel, please subscribe and click the bell so that you'll know when I post up something new. Now enough chit chat, go ahead and try this yourself on your car.